why? I mean, why pour so much effort into something that sounds so incredibly ambitious? What are the main goals? Good question. There are really three big motivations driving this. First, it's about digging into fundamental knowledge, pure science, you could say, by actually building working biological systems with different chemistries, maybe using uh, different genetic molecules or building blocks for proteins. Researchers can test the limits, the actual constraints that shaped life as we know it here on Earth. It shifts the study of life's origins from just looking back historically to actually experimenting. Hmm. So it's less about finding what is out there and more about testing what could be possible for life. Like, are Earth's rules the only rules? You've got it. That's a big part of it. Second, there's the goal of engineering novel technologies. Think about developing new industrial platforms or medical ones with totally new abilities, like uh, creating new kinds of materials or proteins that do things natural proteins can't because we're using some of the hundreds of other amino acids nature doesn't typically use, or even building super efficient cellular factories for making things sustainably. Okay, practical applications. Makes sense. What's the third one? The third one is, well, potentially huge for safety. It's about creating the ultimate biocontainment system. They sometimes call it the genetic firewall. Genetic firewall, how does that work? Okay, so imagine you build an organism with a fundamentally different genetic code and biochemistry. It's so different that swapping genetic info with natural life forms is just chemically impossible. They can't understand each other. Mm -hmm. Plus, these organisms would absolutely depend on synthetic building blocks, things you have to supply in the lab because they don't exist outside it. Ah, so if it escaped, it couldn't survive or reproduce because its food isn't available in the wild. Exactly. It's fundamentally dependent, like a car that only runs on a fuel you can't buy anywhere. Yeah. They've actually built organisms like this genomically recoded organisms, or GROs, and they've shown they have incredibly low escape frequencies. We're talking like less than one in 10 trillion. So it's a powerful safety concept. Wow, that's impressive containment. But it does make me wonder, how? 